The Partygate affair in London has had its first personal consequences for the government. After Prime Minister Boris Johnson had to pay a fine for not complying with his own corona rules, Justice Secretary David Wolfson is now resigning. You can only implement legal reforms if you stick to the laws yourself, Wolfson wrote in a letter to Johnson published on Twitter. It's not just about what happened at Downing Street or your own behavior, Wolfson said. It's about the official reaction to the events. As we obviously do not agree on this matter, I must ask you to accept my resignation, he wrote. The opposition says Boris Johnson is no longer tenable because of his partygate fine, but his Conservative Party is sticking with Britain's Prime Minister. The penalties imposed by London police on Johnson and Finance Minister Rishi Sunak have revealed deep social and political rifts in Britain. The police are investigating the Partygate affair because of a total of 12 lockdown parties in Downing Street. It cannot be ruled out that Johnson will receive further penalties because he also attended other events. Lawyer Adam Wagner, an expert on breaches of the Corona rules or law, told Sky News that Johnson's penalties could ultimately add up to more than £10,000, doubling for each rule break. He is the first Prime Minister to break the law while in office. Nevertheless, conservative politicians also backed Johnson, who had withdrawn their confidence in the 57-year-old just a few weeks ago. Johnson's previous statements about the affair were not accurate, Douglas Ross, the head of the Scottish Tories, admitted to the BBC. Well, I call it he lied. But the Prime Minister is an honest man who cares about supporting Ukraine, Ross says. With Nigel Mills, however, a Tory MP openly called for Johnson's resignation. The Prime Minister had always objected to the fact that the Corona rules had set himself, uh, that he had set himself were broken at the meetings. The opposition therefore accuses him of lying to Parliament and is demanding that MPs be summoned to a discussion during the Easter break. Ed Davey, leader of the Liberal Democrats, told the BBC about Johnson and Sunak, You broke the law. You were dishonest. He's right. And the leaders of Scotland and Wales, Nicola Sturgeon of the Scottish National Party and Mark Drakeford of the Labour Party, are also calling for Johnson's resignation. Johnson had made it clear that he would not resign, of course. He, he regrets his behavior, he says. But he says, but I think the best thing I can do now after paying the penalty is to focus on the task at hand. I will do that. He was not aware at the time that this could have been a breach of the rules. I humbly accept that it was one. And now he looks ahead. It's a, that's a joke. Finance Minister Sunak, who's already under enormous pressure because of his wealthy wife's legal but controversial tax tricks, apologized but wants to remain in office as well. According to a media report, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson faces three or more further penalties for violating the lockdown law in the coronavirus pandemic. It is about incidents for which the police investigation has not yet been completed, The Guardian reported on Wednesday, citing insiders. Downing Street announced on Tuesday that Johnson had received and paid a penalty notice for violating the corona rules he had imposed himself. This makes him, once again, the first prime minister to break the law while in office. And we know about. London police are investigating a total of 12 Downing Street lockdown parties. And the opposition rightly accuses Johnson of lying to Parliament. The Prime Minister, as I said, rejects this and rules out resignation. In the Cabinet and his Conservative Party, he received backing for it. It's safe to say that Boris Johnson has already achieved a lot in, in his life. The, the former journalist is the father of at least seven children, was Mayor of London, became British Prime Minister, and in this capacity led Britain with Brexit out of the EU. And now Boris Johnson has again achieved something special. Boris Johnson becomes the first sitting Prime Minister to be fined for breaking the law. The opposition is of course outraged, but the British Prime Minister does not seem to care. Despite an unprecedented fine for attending the lockdown party, where Johnson did break the coronavirus rules he had imposed himself, he has no intention of leaving. This guy will have to be carried out someday. The local elections in England at the beginning of May are now the benchmark for Johnson and the Conservative Party. 
intra-party opposition to the Prime Minister is expected to rise again if the Tories lose significantly. Critics accuse them of not having any answer to the exploding cost of living and of driving low earners into poverty with the highest tax burden in decades. If then 54 of the 360 Tory MPs speak out against Johnson, there will be a vote of no confidence within the party. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.